That's it. We're done. Money. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's currently like 1 a.m. And for some reason, I felt the need to film a video in this moment, like right now. So I'm gonna have to keep my volume low and to a minimum because these walls are thin, so. So I'm sure that many of you are aware of the fact that I am a nostalgia girl. For context, I'm 20. I was born in 2001. So for me, nostalgia is like 2001 to like 2016 pop culture. And I think I speak for everyone when I say 2016 was the last time any of us experienced genuine happiness, so. So with this being said, having a nostalgia hyperfixation and a chronic shopping addiction, you can imagine the very dangerous combo, the very dangerous duo that these two make. As of lately, I've been browsing eBay, Mercari, and Depop a little bit more than the average human should. And your girl, yeah, she's made some purchases, plural, a lot of them, yeah. My debit card, crying, bank account, $2, it's insane. Now some, my mother, may call it irresponsible spending. I, however, call it healing my inner child. So I had this great idea, a light bulb moment even, to do a nostalgia haul where I show you guys some of the throwback pieces that I've been accumulating over the past couple of months that really remind me of like my childhood in the mid 2000s. All right, so first we are going to start with shirts because I've ordered a couple. First up is this very McBling-esque bedazzled shirt that I ordered off of Depop. If you watch my What is McBling a Get Ready With Me video, you would have seen that I wore the shirt in the very end. It gives me very very much trashy 2k very much trailer trash barbie and i love it all right now hear me out let me paint you a picture for these next two shirts okay it's 2009 2010 ish right you go to the beach with your fam bam on a little family vacation before you go back to school you're at the beach wondering what to do and your family's like hey let's go to the boardwalk you're like bet let's go you're walking down the boardwalk you smell funnel cakes you smell sea salt from the ocean it's bright it's sunny everyone's having a good time you're loving life you see carnival games attractions vendors trying to come and get you to buy all their goods but you spy one shop in particular a t-shirt shop you're in heaven it's a store full of endless possibilities you got it you get the vision, you see what I'm saying? Okay, that is what I saw for these two shirts. I was scrolling through AliExpress, you know, as a bad on a budget does, and I saw the shirt and I was like, mm, I need that. No, because I need that. I love hot dads. I love hot dads. And it's so real because it's true. Remember that mental picture I painted earlier? Yeah, I'm gonna need for you to keep envisioning this as I show you this shirt. Because personally, I feel like this is something I would have bought at like the Jersey Shore or something, right? It's a tank top that says, I am not perfect, but I am limited edition. It's so corny and so cheesy that I couldn't help myself. I had to add it to the cart. I did, I had to. That is all for the shirts. And now we are moving on to the bottom. Starting off with probably what are some of my favorite purchases of like this entire haul my victoria's secret pink yoga pants mid-2000s victoria's secret pink is an era in fashion that will forever be unmatched until the end of time like like if you know you know all the hot girls wore victoria's secret pink was i one of them no because i was too young and my parents saw that it was too grown for me but i admired it from afar and now that i'm old enough i am finally able to live my truth Ooh. My absolute favorite pair that I bought are these zebra print yoga pants with the pink pink logo on the back of it. I am I love them. I'm obsessed. So yeah, I got these and then I got two pairs of the traditional yoga pants. You know, the ones that have the little Victoria's Secret pink dog on them. I have one in hand and I'm wearing one right now. The last pair of bottoms I got, I actually got them from Walmart. When I saw them, I freaked the out like, oh my God. And it's this pair of Hello Kitty sweatpants. Like, oh my God, look at how cute. All right, next I'm going to show you guys the accessories that I've snagged and I'm gonna start with the two bags that I got and one of these bags in particular is probably my absolute favorite purchase of this entire haul. If you're an early 2000s or like a big blinger like myself, you know Juicy Couture is love, Juicy Couture is life. I somehow, probably induced by like pure insanity, convinced myself to buy not one, wait hold on, not one, but two Juicy Couture bags. So I bought my first Juicy bag off of Depop. I believe I got it for like 
80-ish dollars. But it just says Juicy Couture with the little traditional terrier dogs uh, with the Love GNP. And it has a little J Juicy embroidery on the back and the leather finished bottom in perfect condition. And of course, it would not be an official Juicy bag if it did not come with the I Am The Fairest mirror on the inside. All right, I talk way too much and I am running out of storage. So I gotta speed this up. The next bag, this is my absolute favorite bag before i ended up buying the other bag i saw another bag like this one on ebay but i was too scared to commit and it ended up selling for like super cheap and i was so pissed off as a mercari if you know like you can like save certain searches on mercari and like whenever anyone posts a new item pertaining to that like filter search you can like get the notification and look at it instantly so someone posted this juicy bag and i ran mama i was i sprinted to mercari i was like this bag is mine i need it i need it in my life right now so this is the bag i want to say this is a daydreamer but i could 100 percent be wrong but when i say that this bag is in perfect condition like the bow is still intact leathers perfect same j emblem on the bottom perfect leather on the bottom the gag is though the day the bag got listed was the day before i got paid i got this bag on mercari and it was listed for only 50 five dollars which is insane for a juicy bag because the resale value on some of the juicy bags now are like literally insane it was in mint condition authentic and fairly priced mama people were harding it left and right harding it left and right i don't even believe in the big man upstairs but in that moment i got on my knees and i prayed and i was like lord jesus christ my savior if you save this bag for me i will convert my life to you spoiler alert i am still very much non-religious but i got the bag so <gasps> All right, moving on. This next item is also a personal favorite of mine. It is something that I feel is very, very true to the mid 2000s. And if you were conscious around that time, you recognize this piece right here. And it is in I Love Haters hat. When I tell you that every teeny bopper celebrity had this freaking I Love Haters hat, this was a mid 2000s staple. Selena Gomez, Jeanette McCurdy, Ariana Grande, Ashley Tisdale, like everybody had a variation of this freaking hat i always wanted one growing up and i finally got one and i am living you can see i literally have like an i love haters poster in the background like it's just like a traditional snapback hat you know very mid-2000s which is good for me because i have a very large head and hats and i typically don't get along i have like a more exaggerated and detailed video about this hat and like the history behind it on my tiktok i have like a whole playlist full of like mid-2000s inspired videos i have a fun time over there you should go follow me do that like right now all right cool this next item is a hat as well when i saw it on ebay i just knew in my heart of hearts that it was going to be mine i knew that i needed this hat and it is a hat that says i love the situation from jersey shore i like lost my mind when i saw this like i did not care if it fit or not which spoiler alert it does not right now it's literally just like a decoration from my room but i don't care i'm obsessed with it i love it very much i got this hat and my i love hairs hat from ebay by the way i've mentioned it before i am a trashy reality tv girl like jersey shore specifically is my crack like crack to the vein if you've watched my room tour video which i'm assuming you have because you love me right right yeah i know you would have seen that right behind me i have like a whole photo collage shrine dedicated to jersey shore full of like a bunch of different pictures and stuff i love it very much you call it obsessed i call it dedicated moving on to the rest of my accessories i got not one but two pairs of the iconic kanye west inspired party shades i got these two pairs off of aliexpress for like super cheap they light up like come on now once i find the energy somewhere deep down inside of me i will 100 percent making a little party themed tiktok with these i also got a couple necklaces and rings the first one is this freak drip plate necklace i saw this when i was scrolling through aliexpress and i got the nostalgic feels okay it's super cute i love it i don't know how i'm gonna style it yet but i just knew i had to have it so next up i got this like brass knuckle necklace granted when i saw this i thought i was gonna be a lot bigger than with this but this will do i got this necklace mainly because there's this like myspace picture that i want to recreate so badly and the girl in it was like wearing this uh, brass knuckle necklace and the last necklace i got is this cute little pixelated heart necklace that gives me very much like late mid 2000s very much minecraft very much raw xd now for this next item mom if you're watching this which i'm sure you probably are hey love you so much but can you do me a favor and skip past this we're gonna give you some time to scroll past done okay i lost my absolute when i saw this on aliexpress it is a plated ring that says 
Can I say that on YouTube? I'm censored anyways. Um, like look at it, look at it, look at it. These last few items are very personal to like my forms of nostalgia and childhood. One being this Hello Kitty DS case that I found on Amazon. While I was redecorating my room, I stumbled across my old DSi. Anyone who ever owned a pink DS is 100% a bad bitch now. Like that's not even debatable. It's a fact. And the case also came with this really cute Hello Kitty stylus. But I didn't stop there. No, no, nay, nay. And of course, me being the scatterbrained child that I was, I naturally lost all of the DS games I ever owned. And trust me, it was a lot. And somehow managed to keep only one, which was my copy of Super Mario Bros that my dog got a hold of and chewed up, as you can see. It still works surprisingly, and that has been the only game I have had for years until recently. Mercari and I, oh, we like this. We are best Steve. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. And Mercari is the epitome of that. I don't know how this came about, but like one day I got the idea to just like search up DS games and see if like anyone was still selling theirs. And apparently there is still very much so a market for DS games because there are so many just floating around for sale on the internet. So of course I bought three. Now these three games that I got were very specific and unique to me. Like of course I'm sure everybody else played them too, but like these three games were some of my all time favorite DS games I ever owned or ever played. The first one being the America's Next Top Model DS game. All the baddies had this game. The day that I lost this game, I remember like it was yesterday, I was going to the beach with my family and this fell out of the car before we left, but I had no idea. And when we got back, I saw it laying in the street, all like ran over and crumpled up and a piece of me broke inside that day. I have never been the same until I bought it again. So the next one is the Monster High ghoul spirit ds game monster high single-handedly shaped me to the woman that i am today and this game had a major part in that it did it did and the last ds game that i bought was the my sims kingdom game i don't know about y'all but my mom was an avid sims player okay sims 1 sims 2 sims 3 my girl has been there done that she is a hundred percent responsible for my current sims addiction now but back in the day you know when i was like a little wee tot she refused to like let me play the game because of like the woohoo feature i don't know ask her she wanted me to have no parts of it she thought i was too young to understand the adult themes granted the sims is like a t-rated game for teens but like, who cares someone is outside my door right now like someone is awake but yeah, this game was like the closest I could ever get to playing The Sims as a kid and I ate it up. I did. I just remembered I have one more thing that I forgot to grab. Hold on. Now these are probably like the most random purchase in this entire haul. I was on Amazon. I saw them and for some reason I just felt very compelled to add them to my cart. So I did. I bought pink and black Wii controllers. I don't know about y'all, but I was a Just Dance gal. And lucky for me, every new game always came out on my birthday. So I always got all of the new ones for like a birthday gift. Day and night, I was playing Just Dance. All right, guys, so that was everything. I am going to have to make this outro very quick because it is getting later and later and I am running out of storage by the second. I hope you guys enjoyed my little nostalgia haul and had like a fun little trip down memory lane yourselves. Again, I will make sure to link everything that I can remember to link in the description that is available for purchase right now. Lastly, if you are loving me or my energy, you can follow me on any of my socials, which will also be linked in my description. And I will catch you guys later.